In this video, I find myself stuck in a familiar yet new world, floating above this toxic mist in a balloon filled with hopes and dreams. How did this earth become so toxic? Where are all the people? Did this happen because somebody ate a bat? All I know is that I've been sent back to earth to try and find a cure to some deadly virus and save humanity. Can this idiot succeed? We shall find out. Also, massive shout out to Far From Home Games for sponsoring this video and letting me check out Forever Skies and this huge new update early. I surprisingly had so much fun playing this game. I was immediately hooked, so go buy it and let's see what adventure you guys have. But for now, this is my 50 days in Forever Skies. Okay, completed. Looks like we landed in a... I have no idea. Oh, this looks important. Distress signal, okay. After months of silence, Sagittarius 2 sent a Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, basically, the most important thing is this last sentence right here. Yes, we need to find the cure at all costs. The fate of us all depends on you. It appears we had crash landed, which is kind of weird because I thought they sent us here. I didn't know that they were going to send us here to crash. Even this door was a bit of a struggle to open up. But once we got outside, we realized how bad Earth really was. Oh my lord, there's just so much waste. Bro, we are up high. What are those floaty things? I scavenged all the basic materials that we could find around here. I then found a working functional laptop, but discovered I needed to put a battery in this little thing here before I could use it. Then I found this little hologram that had a message inside it. Basically, it seems like there was another party sent down to Earth to try and discover a cure. They did mention a bloke named Noah. Sounds like a good guy. Hopefully, I get to meet him eventually. Well, unless this guy's Noah. Hey, bro, are you Noah? Huh? Eventually, I found a battery for that computer, plugged it into the power source, and then started playing Forever Skies on this computer while playing Forever Skies. Not really. There was just another long-ass message that basically said that Noah's going crazy and the virus is going to kill everybody. Great. I love being on Earth. There are messages all over this place just explaining about Noah and his situation. Sounds like a really important guy, and hopefully he has the answer to the cure that we need. I then made my way up these stairs and then found it. Yes, this is going to be our new home forever in Skies, because it's forever skies now would it wouldn't make sense for us to just leave like that in a new hot air balloon because yes survival game it means we need to be little loot goblins to make sure they were all prepared like this this is a fabricator we just absolutely yoinked this brought this back to our little machine here placed it down and now we have a fabricator that can well will fabricate things. Since we're starting completely fresh, I made sure to loot up as much as possible before we head off on this voyage. Found another one of these tablets that taught me about obtaining food and water. Basically, I just need this simple insect lure and this condenser membrane. Found some water in this satellite dish, so I just scooped it up and put it in one of my empty bottles. Then I picked up this transformer. Not like Optimus Prime, it's just a transformer that's really just a cylinder made out of metal. I got this so I could craft up a deck extractor. Placed this down on this catwalk outside my little ship here and started shooting it at anything that kind of glowed like this gritty kind of glow thing dude this is a much better way to be able to gather resources using the deck extractor i was able to open up a few more areas and pick up a drink food and this random poster found another room with this battery inside it so i snatched that up then picked up this random machine that was just hanging there Apparently, it's called a research station. Of course, I immediately placed this in my tiny little ship here. Then I stuck that battery inside it. Now I can research things. Unfortunately, I can't research the cure to this virus, which would have been extremely handy, but also would have mean that we would have been done by now. I learned how to make a scanner. This thrilling invention, well, it scans things like dead bodies. This guy's name is Zen Zyren or, or something like that. He is aged 47 and uh, I don't know, other stuff about him. But then I got to scan these things that were flying in the air and finally discovered what they were. When we scanned those synthetics, we did learn engine fuel and small storage. I then scanned this water satellite dish, which somehow taught us the engine and synthetic fuel. I don't know how that works, but hey, I'll take it. Next, I tested out this simple insect lure and started fishing in this fog. We caught ourselves some dust lettuce, so I ate it. Oh, we, we got viral infection? Cooked food is better. Duh, but you cook lettuce? That's kind of weird. That engine that we learned earlier? Well, I crafted it and put it on the back of our ship. Crafted up some synthetic fuel, put it in our engine, then I took off on our first maiden voyage. Ooh, here we go. Taking flight. What? I think. Whilst floating around in this foggy paradise, we came across this interesting place. All of these places are great for loot. I scanned basically everything that looked new to me and basically just took all the loot in here that I could find. I then found this red thing that was just chilling here, so I scanned it. This gave us access to be able to build the basic turbine. But before I build that, I'm going to have to research it. But there's one thing I wanted to research first, and that was this airship builder tool. Once researched, well, obviously I went and made it. Some things take a little bit of time to actually craft though. Oh yeah, now you're ready. That looks really cool. Now we have the airship builder of course i expanded my little base here i'm gonna have to take this engine off and there we go we have a little bit more extra length now on my little shaft and i think this will look yeah this looks way better on the side of the ship too 
shouldn't get in the way in future projects since we're so early in this game resources are quite scarce and i won't lie this is actually a pretty fun way to gather resources i then place down this plastic wall on this ship this will be a place that i could place down some posters and stuff later that we find out and about i then crafted up a water purifier so we could purify some water and not get thirsty we then made our way to another abandoned radio tower came here looking for some juicy loot and i scanned this dead guy's head turns out he had a flashlight on his head so now we can go ahead and make one also got to make sure that we steal this battery out of this thing these are kind of like lighthouses and if you steal the battery out of it well now no one can see it kind of messed up we now have a water purifier but we need some empty bottles i just haven't researched them yet i researched it and then i made one now we can harvest the purified water out of the water purifier i was gathering resources on the deck extractor when i realized i could take this piece out of this building once i took it out the whole building collapsed this is crazy the next day we added a second engine on our ship and placed some fuel in it then continued taking down some of these buildings because it's just so much damn fun I then added another room piece onto our ship and one of these turbines so then we can start flying a little bit higher than we normally do. Next, we were told to increase our altitude and land on a place with double flashing lights. I assume it's this thing in front of us. There's different types of POIs in this game and each one of those POIs come in different types of variants. This particular one is a wind farm variant and typically you can find different types of resources in each one of these places. But this particular one, we got to unlock the location radar, an extremely handy tool for us in our ship. But we can also get helium from this place as well. And these orange looking thingies, well, that's copper, a resource that we're going to use to make a lot of electronic items. We also found this thing. It's called a circuit board. Also, since we made our shaft a little bit longer here, I moved our research machine just a little bit further down, you know, just to make a little bit more room. I've now gathered enough resources that I can really start expanding this ship just a little bit further than we have already. Try and stop it feeling so cramped. I was now able to craft myself up a bed and take a quick nap in it. Woke up the next morning and researched this flashlight. Then I saw a flashing red light down to the left realized i was hungry so i started fishing for some food i um didn't make it <laughs> once i respawned the fishing line finally caught something and yay we scored some dust lettuce this time i think we're going to cook it so of course i made a cooking station then cooked the lettuce which requires obviously the lettuce and some water to boil mm. Yum, delicious boiled dust lettuce. I had to remove this little room here, but for good reason. It was so I could have enough space to place this basic turbine down so we could get enough altitude to make it to this new POI. Apparently, this place is called the Greenhouse Tower, a new type of POI. In this video, Greenhouse is going to be one of my most popular destinations to come to. It's stacked with lots of good resources, like this polymer, which we use quite a bit. These barrels are full of plant oil, and in general, there's just tons of resources laying around. I found this room that had a chain and a lock on it. Apparently, I can only unlock it with a knife or a crossbow sounds aggressive but that's how we're going to get in this scanning tool was getting a lot of work in today but we're also scanning things that seem to need a knife to be able to cut down oh there's some vines i need to get through yes that needs a knife too obviously i raced back to base went to the research station and researched a knife immediately made that knife put a poster on my wall while i waited a storage bin down because obviously we're starting to fill up on stuff then ran back up to the greenhouse with my new knife first thing we did was break into this room found a pad that told us about the oil distillation then we discovered a new machine that we could scan and then learn this is part of some of the new content in forever skies i then went and cut down some of this interesting fruit they call this a green colander i, I, I don't know why they say it's green it's, it's obviously orange i then cut down this weird squash looking thing they call this coffee nuts but for the sake of humor let's call these d's nuts anyways we went upstairs to cut through the vines and then cut through into this door to find another strange room with some rotten food i, I don't know why i'd want that i just don't but then we went upstairs and found some things that we could scan that are obviously going to be useful back at base this was a wrecked water tank and this was oh my battery is flat so back to the airship we went and i cooked up the green colander because i was starting to get a little bit hungry now i really should be making myself a tool charger but no i get distracted by shiny things at times plus let's kind of focus on the missions that we had to do one being finding noah's hideout because hopefully we can meet this guy oh 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 i think we did something we found noah's hideout noah you in here bro noah okay a bit bushy uh oh, put the battery in there make your way through the blocked doorway check noah's computer okay we'll pick up some bruised flowers all right, clear the path. What the hell? Oh, we fell over. Oh, how convenient. Our disease got worse as uh, kind of something happened in the world. We finally found Noah's hideout, but we didn't get to find Noah. So I stole all of his posters. They look cute and they'll probably be better with me than him anyway. We then read these notes left on Noah's computer and he mentioned something about a vision and that he had already died once. This guy's tripping. And now we got to find a place called the surface lift. We'll get to that eventually. But first, I got to find out where some of these noises are. What was that? That was creepy. Bro, is that around flying? Sounds like a bat or something. Bro, there's MREs. 
Why can't I just eat that? Why can't this literally an MRE bag? Let me eat it. I didn't get to discover what that noise was and maybe for good reason. Instead, we just made our way back to the hot air balloon and took off. Then we got this freaky message and a glitch on the screen. Come down below to my reborn kingdom. Come down to my reborn kingdom? Now I don't really feel like going down there. That was creepy. We're still early on in this adventure, so I wanted to stop at this little location here and stock up on some resources. I found this broken chest here. I thought that if I broke it, I could open it. I then found this locked room. How do I get into you? Can't break in. Hmm. Uh-huh, I need a battery. Put that in. This better be worth it. Anything. Oh! Hey, bunch of circuit boards. That's pretty decent, actually, I think. Oh, another one? Another one? Five circuit boards? Yeah, sick. And then to finish this day off, I went back to the research station and finally researched the tool charger. Should have done this a long time ago, but hey, we're here now. Day six, we came back to another wind farm. I'm still a little bit light on resources, but I'm here really to be able to get some more helium. And these circuit boards. If they're hidden behind locked doors, it usually means they're pretty valuable. But what I really needed to do was expand our balloon here. This then means I can place in more rooms and create more space inside our airship. If you notice right here in the top right hand corner, there's a thing called ship load. The bigger the balloon, the bigger your load. I went through the studies tab in our options menu and had a look at all the locations that we could kind of see and that we've been to. Here is where I learned that there's a few things that we can go and research search and learn so i filled my engines up with some fuel and started heading on out so we could discover some new things in this world and that's where we discovered this location that had lily pads to land on i was surprised to find out that these lily pads could hold my entire airship this was called the overgrown tower obviously full of vegetation and some weeds that we could chop on down oh hey look something i can't scan because i didn't charge my scanner yet i harvested these yellow flower things they're called canola something i don't know they're just canola oil this overgrown tower also seemed to have some fruits here they call this sun melon but it looks like cantaloupe or rock melon depending on where you're from anyways i had some more resources and could place some more building pieces onto our base then climbed the ladder of this tower walked in looted all the stuff from this room then got stung by something oh what the frick what was that? bees the freaking bees in this game oh uh, okay so now i need a bowl okay oh i'm definitely stealing this Stupid bees disease me? Of course I'm taking you home. Riddled with diseases, I placed out another storage box because yes, we're finally filling up with a bunch of different resources and new things that we've never seen before. And just as luck would have it, when I went to my research station to see if I could find a cure, uh, the battery had run out. I have a disease called meningitis and to cure it, I need to find or craft a brain cleanser. But to research it, I need one of those green colander things, which I currently don't have because I, I ate the ones that we had. Anyways, diseased and tired, we moved on to this next location. This is uniquely called Small Town. Honestly, the loot here is uh, a bit okay. It's pretty standard, just your metal and synthetics, machine parts and stuff. Crazily enough, as I was walking around, I just passed out, which somehow cured me of my meningitis. Once I woke up, I found a couple more of these basic pattern cartridges and this paint tool. Ooh, I got a paint tool. Maybe I can do some painting. The paint tool and painting is pretty cool. You can do some pretty fun stuff with your ship. I just don't get around to it for a very long time, but we do get there. This was a fun little location as you had to do some parkour, except um, I'm not good at parkour. Oh, crap. Freaking... Day seven, we continued on our journey. We're kind of just doing a little bit of exploring and not focusing too much on the main story right now. After all, in terms of exploration, this game has a lot to offer. I mean, we've already seen one of these radio towers before, but have you seen a scary insect from hell? Well, uh, yeah, that's it right there. Okay, how do I approach this guy? I don't like my chances. All right, you need to be stabbed, son. Stab! Yeah, hey, hey, hey. Uh, you're dead. Thank you. Oh, meat. I can eat you. Mm, we're eating delicious insect tonight. I realized I should probably start researching more things. Maybe like this crossbow because, you know, things are kind of crazy and deadly. No, that, that's not what I research right now. Instead, I researched the transformer. I, I don't even know why. Like the crossbow should have been my main choice. Oh, and then I finally made myself a tool charger. Again, something I should have done a long time ago. Placed one of those solid state batteries in it. Started charging my scanner. Oh, I also cooked up that delicious insect from earlier and moved my bed from an obnoxiously annoying spot my scan is now fully charged now i can charge up my flashlight moving on to a new destination we semi crash land here and then i find one of these broken chests here i try breaking it again with my knife and realize that's not working and then i try a better approach and repair it that seemed to work just fine see kids violence isn't always the answer although it is the answer most time in a lot of games but not in this case for example if you're not looking insects are going to get violent so in this scenario i chose violence against that insect that gave me blurry vision and a disease called pyrexia. Basically drains my stamina and makes me kind of blurry vision and all that stuff. It kind of sucks, but I need capsaicin to cure it. It's funny because I'm pretty sure capsaicin is that stuff you find in chilies that make things spicy. Oh, and here's a quick reminder of how bad I am at parkour. <gasps> Fuck. You're an idiot.
Day 8, I added a third basic turbine onto our ship. Now we can reach even greater heights. Since I landed at this location, I figured I'd loot this place up anyway. Managed to find this golden empty picture frame. Not sure if it's going to be really handy for our base, but hey, I took it anyway. Since adding that turbine, we can now reach this purple beacon. This particular location gives us access to a lift that will take us down to the surface. But before we head down to the surface, we got to do a few things first. We need to find a way to be able to power this lift. I assume that this yellow ladder will lead us to what we need to do. Down here and uh, ha 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 need a battery for you we then head straight on into the lift press this button and then head straight down we had then made it to the surface aka the under dust but stepping on out of this elevator the air is toxic but it made it kind of exciting because we then picked up some resources that we've never seen before epoxy and then this random thing it's called a dust daisy there was so much loot down here i just couldn't get enough of it but also had to keep reminding myself to get my oxygen back up i then spotted this weird thing it's called energy crystals Ooh, crystal battery, upgraded tool charger, energy crystal fuel. That all seems extremely valuable. I know the mission is telling us to follow the science to the lab, but there's just so much looting to do down here. I mean, if there's all these resources, I gotta take advantage of this. I do need to find a way to get down past those white flowers. I will find a way. After all, I'm really trying to find this Noah guy. But for now, we're gonna head back up into our ship, store some of our loot, and start preparing to be able to go even further down on the surface. I kind of have a feeling that the extractor might help us down there. And I do know that some crystal batteries will definitely help us down on the surface as well. We're gathering so many resources already that we need another storage box already oh and it's probably a good idea that we craft a crossbow for ourselves right now you never quite know what we're gonna find back down on the surface again stocked up on some food some crystal batteries and our new crossbow it's time for us to head on back down to the underdust this time our goal is to obviously loot as much as possible but also scan as many things as possible too like this the upgrade station i'm sure that's gonna come in handy and these things here they take crystal batteries and now we can breathe fresh air and remember that white flower that i mentioned earlier well it's called ice dew and i need to somehow get a hypothermia so i can pass by it i obviously don't have the means to do that just yet but i'm sure we'll figure it out eventually but for now i've got some parkour to do some looting and more scanning with this we're going to be able to make ourselves large storage boxes as i was jumping around i saw a bunch of energy crystals down here jumped down picked them all up then realized i was stuck oh crap how do i get out of here um, can i jump out jump uh, I need the extractor so I can get through there. It's the ice chute. Come on, maybe up here. Can I stab you? What if I stab? Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're gonna die. This isn't working. In the end, I just had to wait until I died. I should have had my extractor so I could get rid of this metal and get through it, but it is what it is luckily we only spawned back at the elevator so that will make things a little bit easier i guess now one of our missions is to find the lab we just need to follow a couple of these symbols to get up there so first step is to climb this ladder and the second step would be to remove that so we can get through unfortunately we couldn't do that so we jumped down to the bottom went back in the lift for some oxygen and returned to the top of the tower again curiosity got the best of me so i went up these stairs and parkoured my way around it i'm glad we made this little trip though because look we found something that we could scan. The ship workstation. This allows us to make like kind of items around our ship. It comes in handy. Trust me. You'll see. Now we're not quite done in traveling down to the surface, but we're also not really prepared to go down there. I really need to get some resources together and start crafting up some of these new workbenches and kind of progressing ahead before we can head back to the underdust and get to the lab. Oh, and while we're looting this place up, I got to scan another item that we can craft. This is the big gardening plot. Day 10 and we're still collecting resources. Basically, that's what we do a crap time of the time on this game oh and i do keep forgetting to check my surroundings too because this happens oh god damn it it's a freaking stupid bug do i have the means to cure it the answer is yes yes i do did i craft the medicine to actually cure it N no i didn't I, I have no idea why i swear sometimes when i'm editing these videos and looking back in the footage i think to myself what an idiot still didn't cure my disease but we did head back to the greenhouse our vision might be blurred but our mission is clear this time our scan is fully charged so i could properly scan this small gardening plot that we missed earlier and uh whatever the hell this thing is too since we've been out not curing our diseases but gathering a lot of resources we can now make ourselves an extractor it's also probably a good idea to research this large storage box too since we have limited inventory space i think this thing's going to be great for us it's really funny because the main ingredient for the cure of our disease that we currently have is this lobster stuff that i've cooked and decided to eat and not use as a cure oh and to make things even better instead of actually making a cure for myself i went and learned the cure for something else but hey i'm sure a brain cleanser will be great and will definitely make the cure for whatever disease we get from that day 11 we return to the surface lift but before 
before heading down, we had to make sure that we were fully prepared. I made this large box, placed everything in it that I didn't need to take, made sure to fully charge all my tools, because this time we're going down on a mission. This time I'm making sure we actually get ourselves to the lab. I won't lie, this disease that we have making our vision blurred is kind of sucky, but it does look like it might expire soon, so we should be okay. Anyways, we climb this ladder towards the lab, and now that I have this extractor, I can clear these metal pieces so I can get through. Continuing on, I had to do a little bit of parkour, then I could see these signs that would tell us that we're close by, I guess. Being in a new area, I was worried that we'd run out of oxygen. But then we found this. I placed a new crystal battery in it, and I could breathe again. I climbed one more ladder, and then we found it. Oh. Oh, okay. Is this it? Oh, scanny, scanny time. What else is there? Oh, what is that? Oh, some medical stuff. Virus sample and analyzer. Sweet, we found the lab. Give me your drugs. Apparently, they call this place a lab. It's uh, pretty kind of underwhelming. But hey, you know, it's missions and missions, and we got to do what we got to do. I realized I hadn't scanned this, so I figured I might, I might as well. Our next mission wants us to explore the tunnels under the dust. But first, I'm going to eat a random food off the ground that's going to give me gastronomicus or whatever the frick it's called. Great, another disease. But hey, on the plus side, our other disease is now gone. Now, we can't go to the tunnels under the dust until we give ourselves hypothermia, which I assume I need to craft this new equipment that we've just gotten so we can make something that gives us hypothermia. If that's kind of confusing, well, I'm confused too. This is a game about science, and science really wasn't my subject at school. Arriving back at my ship, I grabbed all the required materials and started researching the virus sample and analyzer. Once researched, I realized the thing is actually low-key kind of expensive to make. Anyways, we got a little bit to do before we can start progressing in these main missions. Like right now, I want to find out what those question marks on our map are. The first place seems to be this. It looks like it's another lift, but it's kind of overgrown by weeds and crazy organic material. Before probably exploring it though, I'm going to have a little nap. Day 12, I tried to maneuver in my ship so i could land on this thing well uh this was an interesting place to land but hey kind of all we could do like there's some fruit and stuff here overgrown surface lift all right what are we working with coffee nuts what else is around here i'll take that anyway more coffee nuts oh some lobster fruit thingies machine parts doesn't really look like there's much here can we get anywhere here usually if you follow these blue lines around around here now it doesn't make sense for us to get there hmm this is kind of weird although there were some items here it kind of looks like we weren't meant to be exactly where we are right now i flew around this place looking for a decent place to land then i saw this that red thing usually symbolizes that i need a docking port so i can kind of get up in there i don't have one of those things just yet and to be honest this is actually part of the end game so we don't kind of need to be here right now so where do we need to be right now well basically anywhere i'm just trying to discover more places because there's so much to explore in this game like this interesting little shack town i found another craftable item that i could scan this wrecked soft cushion why the hell do i need this right now i have no idea but i'm sure we'll find out i looted the place up and then we just continued on i then researched the upgrade tool charger spoiler we, we don't actually use this for a long time we should though i make lots of mistakes in this game the rest of this day we just continue on to other locations scooping up whatever resources we could find and gaining more diseases because we're just not that careful Ah, crap, again. Freaking piece of crap, stupid bees. The next day, we put on a new room to our base. I really think that we should start expanding this, as I think we're going to need a lot of room for some of the stuff that we need to place in here. But first, we're probably going to need a crap ton of resources for that to happen. Right now, our goal is just to kind of prepare and get a lot of resources so we can kind of progress a little bit easier than we have been. There's plenty of crafting tables and items that we still need to research that all require resources to make. Oh, and I learned something pretty interesting too. If you run into broken glass, you get another freaking disease. Hemophagia for some, some sort of hemo fever. Why are science words always so damn hard to say? Anyways, we've been stacking these diseases that we should probably go and get them fixed. But first, let's research this distiller. Then we'll research the small tank. I want to try and start making this garden. It's a pretty new update and it sounds kind of exciting. Finally, I researched the thing that can cure our hemoglobin fever thingy. I couldn't make it just yet though, but I could make this virus sample analyzer. We're on quite the roll researching things now. We're researching the electrolyte pill. This will cure our gastronomical list. Once our virus analyzer was made, I placed it down, put a battery in it so it start working, and then started analyzing something. I suppose like organic matter? Okay, what? Ah, oh, okay, I see what we need. Ooh, okay. Bee honey. The hell you for the meningitis? Use that, and that'll give us our hypothermia booster. Okay, sweet. We now know what we need to be able to get the hypothermia booster so that we can travel to the tunnels in the underdust. The only problem is I just don't have any honey on me currently. I made my way over to this lily pad location, hoping that we could find ourselves a beehive so we can gather some honey. And just as luck would have it, there was a beehive inside this building. Then I also learned that I could just use a crossbow to shoot it down and take the honey without getting any more diseases. Now that we got our honey, I placed it into the analyzer, started analyzing. But then I realized you have to play this little mini game before we can actually analyze it. Bruh, what is this? Centrifuge? 
EMF generator, medium, small, large, what the frick? Uh, okay, so we have to keep the round one alive and kill off everything else. Oh, like that. Yes, yeah, sweet. We did it. There were three levels to this, and each one increased in difficulty as we went through. And we kept doing this until we died. I uh, kind of forgot that, you yeah, know, we, we needed to eat. Anyways, after a few failed attempts, we finally got it right, and the virus sample was extracted. What does that mean? Basically, it means we can now make the hypothermia booster. Once we research it, of course. Now, we needed a vial of meningitis just to research the booster. But now we need another one in order to make it. So, we're back out on the hunt trying to find another lily pad base place in hopes to find another beehive. We find another lily pad base place, climb the ladder, and one of our viruses was neutralized, and I could hear the sweet buzzing sound of a beehive. Yes, we scored ourselves another beehive. Came here for the beehive, leaving with all this juicy, juicy loot. Ooh, data card. Oh, we unlocked the cockpit. Sweet. Wait, don't we already have a cockpit? I immediately got back to our ship, placed the honey in the analyzer, and because we had already learned this, we didn't have to redo that crazy little freaking game. I then made the hypothermia booster, and we set our sights back on the surface lift. Once landed, we made sure we got completely prepared for this journey. We made sure we had clean drinking water, we charged the batteries of our tools, charged the tool charger that charges our tools, crafted up a couple crystal batteries, because they're actually quite important down there. We want our oxygen. Then started making my way to head down the lift. Except, once I arrived, I realized that this is actually a different surface lift from earlier. Wait, this isn't the place we were here earlier? What the frick? I swear this was it. Anyways, to get back down, we need a battery so we can restart the computer so we can start the lift back up again. Good thing I came back to the ship too, because there was some food already cooked up for us that we do need. Anyways, we put the battery into the socket and began our journey down to the surface. We now arrive back on the surface for the th third time, I think, and rush straight down to the tunnels. But before we could pass by that white flower, we need to give ourselves hypothermia. Uh, this should work. Oh, that was rather easy. Kind of underwhelming, actually. We cautiously navigated our way through these tunnels. Then we came to this cross section. Luckily, there was an oxygen machine down here. I was kind of nervous that we were going to run out of oxygen. I did get to discover a new resource down here just inside these plant things. This is called plant resin. This place was rather creepy, but we continued searching on through. That was until we came into this area and then a big creature came out and started jumping at us holy crap what was that ah oh, this force feels kind of handy yeah take that you can't do nothing oh thanks mysterious voice in my head are they gone bro they're not dead though there's only one dead what if they come back i approached this big dead creature and then picked off these big pink things off its back Reminds me of when I used to have to clean my grandma's feet i then noticed this strange vine and seemed like we could interact with it okay this seems kind of Oh, what happened? You fell over, bro. <laughs> what is this? If we don't fix this, we're probably going to die here and humanity will be doomed. Oh, look, there's a cute little fluffy bug thingy. I can rescue it? Okay, it's just going to sit in my pocket. Oh, that's hella freaky. I saw a note posted up on this little branch here. It tells us the end of the journey. Not our journey. This is the journey of uh, what seems to be that dead guy up there. I went back searching for answers. First by scanning this creature and learning that it's just a massive overgrown mantis. Then I scanned this dead guy and found out no no this is noah no i wanted to meet you dude anyways rip dude we're moving on with our life we have other rooms that we want to explore and juicy loot that we want to gather after that massive discovery we're now sent on a mission to find a cure to this entire virus our first step is we need to research the immunity booster how exactly do we do that well first we need to analyze a piece of this mantis kind of bunion stuff play a little mini game and extract the sample so we need that hemophorobic fever and the gastronomonomonous thingy so that we could research the immunity booster now to make the gastro thing i need one of these three food types none of which that i currently have right now guess the only thing we can do right now is take off and try and find one of those food types now where's the best place to get one of these food items i'm guessing the most likely place would be this place in the greenhouse i also wanted to come here too because if you fly high enough you can just gather all the resources from around the place especially glass glass is what we're after because i want to make a few adjustments to our airship oh well you look at that another idiotic move made by myself we didn't even stop at the greenhouse to gather the fruit that we could possibly use to make a cure instead because i'm a child i decided to break down these big ass buildings because it well it is kind of fun hey 
sucks. Nothing happened. That sucks. Look, to be real though, I did have a plan. I feel like we're rushing through the main story missions that we're missing out on some of the really cool things that this game really has to offer. But first, we need to go on a little bit of a looting spree. Gonna need a bunch of batteries. A whole heap of these circuit boards will probably come in handy. Helium should allow us to extend our air balloon a little bit. Oh, and now I know exactly what I can use the soft cushion for. Don't worry, as soon as I can make it, I'll explain. Now, I know we didn't get the right food from the greenhouse, but we can analyze this lettuce to be able to make that gastro stuff. Ah, damn, this thing's hard. Bro, we failed again? There we go, about bloody time. After playing scientist for a little bit, we found a big platform that we could land on. Why do we need a big platform to land on? Basically, I wanted to do a little bit of renovations on our ship here. Firstly, I wanted to expand this balloon a little bit so we could make more compartments and weigh it down a little bit more. Then I just added a couple more compartments onto it. This was kind of tedious as we had to move a lot of existing pieces just to fit certain things in. I wanted to add more of the catwalk out here too so we could obviously get out here and add some more things out here. But I also wanted to keep it all symmetrical. Day 17, we extended our base out wide enough, placed on all the external things like this basic turbine, but then we had to rearrange all the things in the interior as well to obviously make this place kind of make sense, I guess. I thought maybe adding some windows might be a cool little addition too. Only problem is they're kind of expensive for each piece and they still weigh down your entire ship. So I don't know if this is kind of worth it if you're trying to go for like a really practical build. And just because I could, I put in a glass floor. I mean, it's kind of cool to look down while you're going over a massive destroyed city, I guess. Then I got notified that my energy levels was getting kind of low. So he went for a quick little midday nap. Once I awoke, I started working on my garden. First by placing down this big plant pot thing. And also since we got the space, we could start filling this place out a bit with all brand new items and crafting stations like this big bad boy contraption, the distiller. Oh, and just so you know, the way that this plant works is pretty simple. Place a seed in it and then add some fertilizer if you like. Now you make the fertilizer in the distiller. Oh, and of course you have to water this thing. There is a way to do it automatically, but for now we just have to manually feed it into here. I was about to take off and continue exploring when I realized we actually haven't even looted this greenhouse place yet. We've been just using it so we could build comfortably. And like mentioned earlier greenhouses are a great place to loot there's just so much juiciness here oh and be warned don't eat raw fruit makes you sick found a poster in my explorations too called the join project oxygen poster yeah i think that whole campaign kind of failed day 18 i flew to another location and finally got that soft cushion out so we can place in our brand new pet friend never in my life i ever would have thought that these kind of bug insect things are kind of cute but, but it is as i was going on my business this happened yeah our gastro disease that uh, was timing out became chronic which means you can't get rid of it just by waiting it out you actually have to cure it i then got out my ship so i could loot up some of this stuff we needed some more copper and this is the best place to find it i mean we're here so we might as well grab everything else we can get here too obviously everyone's dead so they don't need it also thanks to that little trip we can now research the upgrade station i think our little pet was happy about that too i was curious to see the difference between the big plant box thingy and then the small one i ended up discovering it, it's pretty obvious some plants are big and some plants are small day 19 we arrived at this really weird strange location then i went fishing for some dust lettuce and uh came up pretty empty-handed just like my real fishing experiences i needed it so i could enter this place this is called the infected greenhouse tower and the only way to get through this place is with an immunity booster which i need some dust lettuce in order to make and uh we missed it again i ended up taking off and trying a different location to find some dust lettuce it also wasn't very fruitful either that was until we finally got one of these stupid dust lettuces and immediately threw it into our analyzer to start cooking up one of those gastro virus samples i also needed honey so i could make the other ingredient to be able to make the immunity booster and once again my stupid ass uh wasn't paying attention got stung by a bee but hey we found the honey oh i'm definitely stealing your honey you stupid bee pricks side note our plants have fully grown up this is uh some weird kind of flower i don't know what it does at this point but i do find out later and this is the green colander that's not green i checked my fabricator to see if i could make any of the cures and i could only make the capsaicin and this is the one time i don't actually need it but i did have enough ingredients to make a brain cleanser so we could at least get rid of one of these viruses anyways back on task we need to head back over to one of these infected towers okay so after a fun little distraction we have finally returned back to the infected greenhouse tower and then just as luck would have it it starts storming and the storm bug comes back with uh the crazy visuals apparently the lightning can be kind of dangerous so we hold up in our airship for a while oddly enough this bug does happen when i'm under my cockpit kind of glass also i want to make a quick disclaimer i am actually playing this on a test branch server kind of thing it's likely that when you get a chance to play this these bugs are going to be ironed out and gone anyways the storm subsided and we could head on in we just had to take this immunity booster first so we don't die doesn't mean you can't touch the sides of these things they kind of hurt you just have to avoid touching these things where i think typically if we're in here we would have died from i don't know maybe airborne kind of craziness i don't know if the airborne viruses aren't going to kill you our hunger definitely will 
Feeling fresh after a quick death, we're back on in attempting to complete this mission. Glowy thing. I'm going to stab it. And stab. Oh, what's this? Oh, perimenid perinatal seeds so many new things to discover in this game but this is where we needed to be for the mission because in here is the medical station it works basically like a bed there were also a bunch of cures for viruses here too one most importantly the one that can cure our chronic gastro regarding the mission we just had to read this laptop which told us uh you know a bunch of stuff about the proper cure of this virus it also seems like we need to go to another infested tower to find some more information about curing this virus but before we left i found a random ladder that was chained up and i knew i could shoot these locks out to gain access to the ladder usually if there's a little bit of a challenge to get somewhere it's usually worth finding out why it's so hard to get there once we got into this room we found this weird contraption the wrecked filtering deck extractor what is it i have no idea and i don't think we ever build this but hey it does inspire us to get an automatic deck extractor which is basically like the deck extractor that we use currently but like automatic here's the other challenge that we need to do it seems like we need to visit three of these infested places but the immunity booster doesn't seem like it's gonna last very long so we just have to fly to the next location as fast as possible day 21 and we locate the next infested greenhouse tower i'm confident our immunity booster will last through this but i don't know if we can make it to another tower and survive we went through the same ritual as last time finding and stabbing down these glowing seeds there seems to be three at every tower and this time we found all three so all the contamination things were gone then we made our way to the top of the tower and came back to the laboratory i grabbed all the cures that were lying around and read through the research report i was pretty confident we weren't going to make it to the third tower so instead i made sure to properly explore this place and i'm glad i did this is where we discovered the wrecked pipe and the wrecked sprinkler both important pieces to be able to use to be able to automate our garden back at our ship there was even a whole note explaining how it worked and stuff i mean it's pretty straightforward isn't it i got back to our ship deposited some of the stuff that i had on me and then took out all of our empty water bottles i had an idea and i don't know why i didn't think about this earlier in these greenhouse towers there's this puddle of water just here and it's basically unlimited so this way if i fill this up and then i just keep purifying the water we almost have unlimited water plus we're probably going to need a lot of this water for our garden that we're going to start growing moving on our main mission wants us to head over to the next infested greenhouse tower unfortunately though i don't have an immunity booster and i don't have the means to be able to make another one currently as of right now i don't even know how to get any more of that mantis fungus stuff because last time we got it from a cutscene in the game day 22 no immunity booster in hand but i have a few ideas of some things that we can do for now but most of those things that i think we can do require more resources i really want to start working on our ship and make it you know significantly better than it is and like i said we just need to gather a bunch of resources and apparently this is a different type a wind farm and i guess it kind of is everything's kind of like central located we even got to scan a new item this thing's actually pretty exciting this is a freezer so obviously we could freeze some of our food and you know make it last longer day 23 we placed in our new crafting bench the ship workstation this allows us to craft furniture and lights and stuff for our ship we then return back to one of these greenhouses to continue looting and getting some more resources for our airship but it was here that i made a a, a few mistakes i rushed in a room without looking up oh my god there's Frickin' bees again! Stupid bees. Where did they come from? Hello? Ah, there it is, the bastard. Go on, skis. And was that the only mistake I made at this greenhouse? No. No, it was not. I remembered to break down this broken glass so I didn't get any more of those diseases from this. Then I made my way to the very, very top of this place. Yoink the battery out of the battery thing. Then I saw a bug. Yes, this was the next mistake that I made. What the f*** is that? Stupid bug? Photophobia. What the frick is photophobia? Indeed. What is photophobia? Well, basically, photophobia is a disease that causes us massive trouble throughout this entire playthrough. Let me demonstrate how bad photophobia really can be. You see, if you stare into the sun, this happens. It doesn't seem that bad, right? And it kind of isn't, but it is a massive pest. Sometimes when you're just flying along, it triggers. And sometimes if you stare at it for too long, you will die. Now we do try and find a cure for it, but there's one problem. I'll explain that a little bit later though. Because for now, the photophobia turned chronic. Unless we find a cure, we can't get rid of it. These diseases and viruses are starting to become a real pest. We're gonna have to try and figure something out. Now here's the issue with our photophobia. See, we need this myadris inhibitor to be able to cure it. Problem is, I think there's a bug in the game currently while I'm playing this, and uh, there's no way for us to be able to learn to make this. But even though we're diseased, life must continue on and we got things to do. We've returned to the surface lift in 
in hopes to find another mantis so we can get those fungus things off its back so i can then get another immunity booster of course i wanted to loot a lot of things down here so i have to make a few preparations before we go down like storing everything we already have and crafting some crystal batteries for the oxygen prepped and ready we started making our way down to the surface since this is a fresh version of the surface i went down and started looting straight away wow this place looks strangely very similar to the last surface we went to man architects were kind of lazy these days of course the name of the game right now is to loot up as many things as possible try and get as much gear and resources and whatever we could find that was our main aim for the first little run down here once satisfied with a bit of loot we went back to our ship put what we gathered in our storage box and then began the process of making that hypothermia booster as that's what we're gonna need to be able to get past those white flowers to hopefully find a mantis we returned back down to the surface with a fresh dose of hypothermia in our veins so we could walk straight past these white flowers never thought i'd be scared of flowers in my life but hey it is what it is i searched through these tunnels looking for a dead mantis and even attempted to go the way that we went last time but it seemed to be blocked off hey I swear that place was open before. Unfortunately, we came up empty-handed. And without those mantis glands, we can't make another immunity booster and finish this mission. I wasn't sure if we could get mantis glands from down there anymore. And maybe they could only be found in the cutscene. I was really unsure on what to do right now. And in the state of confusion, I, I just made a storage rack. That's all I could kind of do. Day 26, until we figure out how we can get ourselves an immunity booster, I'm just going to start renovating my ship. I want to make this place look freaking epic. And there's all these new crafting benches and stuff. So we need to make some space for them too. This storage rack is a nice addition too it's gonna make things seem a lot neater than they originally were i had grown some more plants but our water tank is getting a little bit empty so i grabbed a bunch of empty water bottles ran up to this greenhouse puddle dodged it and remembered that there's some plant oil here this is a good resource to have as well don't worry i stocked up on a bunch of dirty water as well oh and i made sure not to leave here without another disease oh and all that dirty water we collected didn't really fill up our tank that much day 27 i finally crafted up a freezer after visiting the greenhouse i figured this would be a good time to be able to place in some of the fruits and vegetables and insects and things inside it and hopefully we'll be smart enough to start making some cures from all the stuff that we can now preserve next up i placed in the ladder room i kind of want to turn this into a double story airship but this ends up being a little bit harder than i thought it would be as it's going to require a lot of resources and i kind of forgot that there's a weight limit on these ships i went and checked my studies tab and realized that there's a lot of places that we haven't properly explored and a bunch of resources that we've yet to discover i was curious to see what we had been growing in our plants this thing here is an ink bulb at this point in time, I had no idea what this was or what it does. But later on, we find out it's for painting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not that useful to us right now. And it, it, it gives us gas. This petite ash tree thing also is another thing that we use for painting. I then decided to go on a little bit of an adventure where we landed at a new place. Apparently, this place is called the Communication Hub. It seems like most other radio towers, except it has this, a broken down airship and a new crafting piece called the hanging cabinet. I'll definitely take anything that can help us store some more items. I randomly had enough resources to make another one of these plant boxes. And since this is the large one, I decided to fertilize it and plant these dust daisies. Remember those orange flowers from in the surface? They're actually quite valuable. And then once you cook them and eat them, they're probably your best source of food. I placed this distiller on the bottom level. I kind of want to make the bottom level our like living compartment and the top level I want to make into like a garden slash storage area i wanted to test out a theory so i returned back to the infested greenhouse because i wanted to see if you could just kind of run past all the things and kind of not die if you just don't touch any of the infested roots and stuff oh so far so good oh what's that oh that's gonna yeah okay sweet well yeah we tried day 29 and i really need to figure out how i can make myself another immunity booster i know i need to make more of these hemorrhagic fevers but the only way to do that is to collect that purple thing off the back of a mantis and for the first time in this playthrough i had to revert to google which ended up being quite helpful apparently you can still find them in the tunnels on the surface we were just extremely unlucky the last time we went down there and there wasn't one there as soon as i could i rushed straight down to the surface obviously grabbed a bunch of loot because that is my priority through this entire playthrough anyway but soon remembered i forgot to give myself hypothermia this is certainly a game that if you venture into certain places unprepared well then you have to backtrack and then do it all over again so i rushed back to my airship started whipping up some hypothermia and then went straight back down to the surface injected myself up with some good hypothermia went straight into the tunnels and there that glowing pink beauty was oh my god thank you jeebus we now have some mantis glands mantis glands that's what they're called this was refreshing as now we knew we could definitely continue on our missions and on a random plus side i realized i never actually ventured into this area before there's so much of the surface that i've never really explored like i never thought i would have seen another crashed airship down here and this is where we learned repair thrower and foam i'm sure it's cool but uh yeah we we just don't use it 
ever. Anyways, after a thrilling adventure down on the surface, once again, we started venturing up to head back to our airship. Also, we could pretend to be scientists from Wuhan and make more viruses and add more pieces to our little base here. Well, until it gets too heavy and we can't do it anymore. Now that we finally have the means to making ourselves an immunity booster, we race straight back to an infected greenhouse. It was just kind of far away. I then injected myself with this immunity booster and then went on my way giving a massive FU to these strange, weird, infectious plants. But uh, yeah, I, I still managed to die. And no, not from the plants. Remember, I'm heavily diseased right now and I, I died of hunger or, or, or thirst or whatever. Anyways, we followed the standard procedure in this infected greenhouse by stabbing some of these seeds and collecting them because I'm sure they're a good resource for something. Then head up to the top of the lab, then go on this laptop and then make sure to subscribe to Aaron Aztec Gaming because we all know that's a lot easier and quicker than reading all of this mumbo jumbo. Oh, and thankfully there was a few disease cures around here too. So we could get rid of some of the gastro, both of them that we had stacked up, but we're still stuck with this stupid photophobia. Day 31, we have a mission that wants us to craft an evolved flora hologram, but I'm not quite ready to do that just yet. After all, there's plenty more things to do than just the missions in this game, and I'm really not that satisfied with how my base is looking currently. It needs a ton of work to get to exactly where I want it to be. After a couple more adjustments to our base, like adding some more rooms to the lower levels, I then went ahead and crafted this evolved flora hologram. Once crafted, it then asked us to place it, then we had to turn it on. And yes, all of that led to whatever the hell that is. But apparently, there was some encrypted data that we could get from it. And all of this is going to lead us to finding the cure to the virus and save the entire world and all of humanity. You can basically call me Virus Superman or the Wuhan Warrior. It's not over though. We are now instructed to fly to a certain place on our radar. And it seems as though it sent us back to the overgrown surface lift. There has to be a way into this thing. Just where the frick do we go? Can I extract that? Hmm. Oh, wait, oh, wait. I know exactly what I need. I need this docking plank. Indeed, we did need this docking plank in order to gather. Indeed, we did need this docking plank in order for us to move on forward. <laughs> This thing extends rather quickly. Feels familiar. Right under here is how we're going to get in. All we had to do was line up the ship and then direct the docking plank for us to be able to get on up. Well, will you look at that? We're in. It was a little bit dark inside, so we had to charge up our flashlight. But as we got in further, it seems as though that our virus was getting worse. This new area was quite interesting. We found the lift and a random dead dude. I scanned him. Guess what his name is? It's Dead Man. We then found a note that told us that opening this elevator is going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, see this thing? Apparently, we need an access module to be able to open it in order to be able to function this lift. I kind of thought I might find it just around this kind of area, you know, close by to the lift. But all I really found was a beehive, a bunch of mechanical parts, and various other random things. There seemed to be a way to get up and around these kind of areas, but I couldn't see a way to be able to get up there at all. I mean, I freaking looked everywhere for ladders or, you know, something to pop gore up there but i seriously just couldn't figure it out and since i couldn't figure it out i just did what any other sane person would do try and find a different way in from a different area now i wonder if i can just walk off the roof or something i can get onto here so i wonder if i can just jump down there and get into where i need to be oh that doesn't look promising at all what about this side nope well, other than the fact that my character now sounds like he has stage 4 lung cancer, we didn't have any luck finding anything. But there was something we could do. We could research this access module and then craft it. I mean, if I wasn't so stupid, I could have just read my mission status and learnt that I just needed to research it and not, not like, find it. It was that simple. All, all we needed to do was just make it, and now we could go down to the surface. We have now made it down to the new surface. Oh, this is different. Apparently it's called the suburbs. All right. What's this? This is that breath fruit thing. This up. And then maybe we should be okay because I forgot to bring some crystal batteries. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that looks like a, a leg. Indeed, this was a leg. The praying mantis corpse to be specific. There seemed to be a bunch of it laying around. And when you slashed it with your knife, you gained chitin. Always got to remember to run back to the lift for some oxygen when you don't have any access to oxygen. We did learn that these breath nuts might come in handy. Because as we delve deeper and deeper into this place, we realized there weren't many of those oxygen ports around. And again, I forgot to bring crystal batteries for them, even if we did find them. But also, there was a lot of things to discover down here. Like these new vines, we couldn't cut with a normal knife. We needed to craft this thing called an air cutter. And this place was riddled with these bees. And these these red ones, they drop three thorn bee honey each time. Oh, look, an air thingy. This place was very familiar, but also very different to what we're used to as well. It was certainly significantly bigger than the surface that we remember from the last place. Oh, and uh, see this stuff over here? Yeah, this interesting yellow stuff? Well, it's mantis feces. You know, bug poop. Almost running out of oxygen, I ate a breath nut. It fixed me up for a bit, but then it gave me gastro. Then you'll never believe what I saw. See that in the distance? That's a living mantis. I tried shooting at it from a distance, 
and uh, it kind of just disappeared. I got pretty excited because I thought that we were going to get some real combat finally. But when I peeked over this edge, there was nothing there. Oh, that freaking thing gone? I noticed there was a ladder over there, but I decided to jump anyway. This was a bad idea. Found this weird thing down here. Looked like target practice or something. I stabbed it. It turned really fast and I have no idea what this did. Anyways, moving on, we climbed another ladder and then we found this weird fruit, which was actually the sleeping lily seed. Apparently, this is a crucial item to our current mission. Now that our mission is complete down here, we went back to the lift. Well, that is what we were trying to do. We were running out of oxygen rather rapidly and somehow we made it and died as well. I don't know how. Anyway, we respawned exactly where we were. Once we arrived back at the airship, we went straight to the research station so we could research this dust fertilizer. Turns out it needs the mantis poop that we gathered before. Luckily, we picked it up. Whilst that was all working, I went back to the bottom floor and placed in this double cockpit on the bottom floor. This makes our base look a little bit wonky, but I kind of wanted to try and switch some things up. Now, the rest of the day, I just spent just kind of rearranging some of our tools and, you know, crafting benches and stuff. Again, I wanted the bottom floor to kind of look like what the top floor is right now, and the top floor I eventually want for storage and our garden. Day 35, we still had some of these renovations to do. Moving the stuff around this base like we are took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Oh, and I realized that you can't put some of the wall things just in, in this kind of slot. You actually have to have like a window or a wall there. It, it, I mean, it makes sense. But yeah, it's just one of those things you learn along the way. I eventually got kind of bored of just moving stuff around my base. So I decided I wanted to go back down to the surface again. After all, this place seems just so much bigger than the other surface. And I just really want to explore it and find all the new things that can be found. This game is a fascinating idea and a kind of a different twist on what you'd think a normal post-apocalyptic world would look like. Like I'm genuinely really impressed by how this kind of is and you know makes you start to think anyways enough with the weird philosophical shit let's just move on see this white flower i want to get past it and i know i can because i can give myself hypothermia again i actually think i could have got up here without you know going past that thing I, I don't know maybe but to me it just seems like these flowers right here are just protecting mantis poop kind of a weird thing to protect but hey maybe it must be valuable resource or something i mean i just went everywhere just picking this stuff up i never in my life thought that i would have been going around collecting mantis feces and being excited about it the cool thing about playing this game in the difficult level that i'm playing it at if i die it just kind of like teleports me back to the, the elevator i still had hypothermia and wanted to make the most of it so i kept exploring and running around trying to find things near these white flowers i'm glad i did because then i found this i mean it's not crazy amazing, but I'm sure it'll be coming handy. It's a bigger water tank than we currently have. We're now riddled with a bunch of diseases and running low on oxygen a lot. We probably need to do something about that soon. But we're still discovering weird things down here. Like this bluish kind of fungusy. I don't even know what the hell it is. But it seems like my knife won't cut it. So I'm probably going to need that air cutter to be able to cut it. Which is definitely something that I'm going to have to work towards pretty soon. Especially since as we kept exploring, we kept running into obstacles that we really need this air cutter to get through. The only thing is, I need more chitin from these mantis limbs to be able to craft it and i don't know if it's because i'm seeing blurry vision but i can't seem to hit this one regardless there's plenty of other things to do right now and should probably work on getting rid of these diseases plus we've been at that overgrown surface there for such a while that i kind of want to go out and do some more exploring after all there's still locations that we haven't discovered yet like this wind farm that's actually quite high it's so high in fact that i needed to add another basic turbine just to get up there at face value there doesn't seem like there's much up here so hopefully this is worthwhile and because our ship is so big it kind of makes it difficult to land here that's okay though we can just rely on the docking plank to get there this thing's a lifesaver all right this is called high point there wasn't anything all that exciting here in terms of resources or anything but there might have been something up there did we go up there no no we didn't instead we went to this place over here this definitely looks a little bit more exciting and i'm sure has more things to offer we discovered it had pretty decent resources inside lots of helium but most importantly it had this bad boy we just needed to scan this and it was going to change our life for the better this is the automatic deck extractor yes it's literally what you think it is. A deck extractor that extracts all the resources out of the sky and around automatically. I was way too excited to test out my brand new toy. So I raced back to my airship and got to working on making this. The only thing is, it needed a bunch of components to be able to make it. So this might take a while but not long after we had all the required pieces and then could make the automatic deck extractor. Hmm, once this thing's cooked, I think it's going to go right here. And just like that, we have a fully working automatic deck extractor. Wait, hold on it just needs a battery there you go now we have a fully functional working automatic deck extractor so i flew around for a few minutes and tried to let the automatic deck extractor you know extract resources and it filled up rather quickly and with all of those resources we basically just worked on our base we extended our balloon out a little bit so we could get some more room to you know more building and then just made our lower level a bit bigger getting this airship to exactly where i want it is going to take a little bit of time and please excuse me if i'm not very creative it, it's just you know 
I'm just not. Also, I low-key kind of hated this double cockpit. So I got rid of it and reinstalled the single cockpit. I don't know. Just personally, it feels better and it was easier to read this map as well. Again, I don't know if it was a good idea to rearrange this base or not because like I already mentioned, this is really damn time consuming and also has been draining me of resources like copper and helium and stuff. So we're always like going back to go and, you know, gather more of it. Day 39, I placed these little view corners in. I thought it might make a pretty cool addition to be able to like look out and, you know, see the world as ugly and miserable as it kind of is. Also, I was really starting to get sick of this chronic photophobia. Again, I think it's a bug because we just can't figure out how to get that freaking cure for it. I went to different locations to see if we could kind of figure something out about it. But honestly, I had no idea what I was looking for. I'm just assuming because this is a beta branch version and like a, you know, a pre-release version that it was just a slight bug in the game. Anyways, I got over that really quick and decided to place a random wall in the middle of my base. No, this wasn't for no reason. I plan on placing this hanging cabinet down somewhere kind of easy that I can run back and forward to when I'm kind of like driving around and stuff. Also, I returned back to a greenhouse so we could stock up on some extra organic materials like these can Nola flowers, these patats, and I might as well cut this grass as well so I can collect some biomass while I'm here. The canola flowers and the patats are the main ingredients to be able to cure our gastro. I never actually realized that there's this kind of place underneath this greenhouse that I can get into, but obviously it's one of those biohazard zones. I just need a good old dose of that immunity booster and maybe I can get through. But now we'll worry about that another time. I'm pretty sure they're at all the places. Day 41, I built these storage shelves. They look a little bit different to the one we were using before, but I don't know, I just wanted to try something else out. And since we extended this bottom part of our base we just have to rearrange a few things too and of course i wanted to fill up this storage shelf as well kind of figured it would be better to have all our storage downstairs now so to make this gastrovirus you can make it with either one of these three foods now we've made it with the dust lettuce before but i had a few of these patats laying around and i started growing them as well so it might be a good idea to extract these so we can use these later on i then went ahead and made myself this immunity booster because curiosity just got the better of me and i really wanted to get inside this place Ooh, can we squeeze through nope Ouch. <laughs> we get it now. No. Okay. Damn it. <laughs> Just need to lower the ship a little bit. Yeah, that looks fine. Oh. Damn, you're going all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that should work. What? Wait for a chance. Go. Uh. Okay, that didn't work. After some silly struggling, we finally made our way in. It was kind of worthwhile, I guess. We got to scan this item, and this is a large sprinkler. That was kind of all that was here. It really was kind of underwhelming. Day 42, we found another tower that we still haven't explored yet. I won't lie, I thought I kind of found them all by now. But I suppose that's just the nature of these kind of games, right? You think you found it all, but you just haven't. I'm also glad we have this dock thing, and kind of wish we had it earlier. It's really come in handy now. Desolated radio tower. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing in here seems kind of that super interesting right now. Is this even worthwhile? So yeah, it kind of seemed like there wasn't really much here to offer. But when we kept searching around, we found another spot that we could kind of land onto if I could get this freaking machine to stay still. And at least there was something here that we could scan. No, not this box. But this looks like a pokey machine, but really it's a large freezer. It's been fun, random tower, but it's time for us to leave. I then wanted to try something out and see if it was kind of worthwhile. So I'm going to take down this engine, head over to my upgrade bench, and then upgrade this engine. I then go ahead and place this engine back on my ship and then realize the biggest difference is that it has two slots for fuel and when i tested it out i thought it was going to be faster but we're actually not going faster at all don't worry we discover later on that if you put fuel in both of those slots in that engine it then makes this whole ship go faster i realized i had a little bit left of this immunity booster so i quickly rushed over to this infested tower because i wanted to test a few things out and get some loot if you take out all of these contaminated seeds i assume then you don't need the immunity booster because there isn't any contamination in the air here Alright, we take this one out. All contamination is neutralized. That's good. Now we just gotta wait for the immunity booster to run out and we'll know if we can survive here. Also, it's kinda good to come up here to get these disease cures for free. Ooh. Ah! Our immunity boost is gone, and uh, so far so good. Not bad, not bad. And just like that, we learned that if we just steal all of these seeds from these plants, we can cure an entire tower. I'm basically a god right now. But since we just ruined some plants, I figured I'd make myself a water tank so I can make some good plants. The big sprinkler might come in handy too. I placed this massive water tank at the top level of our base and ran back into the tower with a bunch of empty water bottles so we could fill it up. I mean, we got like a lot, a lot of water, like a lot. We were here for a while. Y yeah, we're still going. Okay, yeah, we got over 100 pieces of dirty water make that 110 which uh easily filled this tank up and left us some left over and only makes sense to purify it for some clean drinking water now since we're on the subject of water i went ahead and placed in this large sprinkler now to get this thing working you need to link it up with the water tank and making this thing work was hella confusing why won't it freaking get in the hole <laughs> get it that's kind of weird is that working 
I don't think that's working. I spent the longest time trying to figure this out. I eventually figured this out. And to save you guys some of the headache, I'm going to show you how this works. This is where the water comes out from. So you have to connect this first. And you know what's working when the pipe is a slightly darker shade of gray? And this ball-shaped sphere at the end, this is where the intake to the sprinkler goes. I could see that the sprinkler was raining on the inside, but I couldn't actually tell if the plants were getting watered or not. Either way, we had some plants that needed planting. I plan on filling this entire garden out to try and, you know, grow more things. Which means, of course, we're going to need some more pots. Day 45, we came back to the original surface lift. There was a particular item found down here that we haven't gotten yet that I think will come in handy for the rest of our playthrough. Oh, and I couldn't ignore the fact that this place is always full of juicy loot. I also needed to stock up on a bunch of energy crystals as well. But why did I make the effort to come all the way back here? Well, that's rather simple. It's for this thing right here. We scanned it up and this is the medium oxygen tank, which obviously gives us access to more oxygen when we're in the surface areas. Meaning when we're in the other surface area, we should be able to spend more time there without hopefully dying so much or you know by running out of oxygen of course i didn't waste any time going ahead and making this it was pretty cheap to craft anyway now that we have access to more oxygen of course i went back to an overgrown surface lift we got to test out this oxygen's capabilities and there's a couple other things i want to do while i'm down here but first if you can see we now have 150 oxygen as opposed to originally 100 oxygen first thing i wanted to do down here was gather some more of this chitin i need a bunch so then i can craft up the air cutter which would then give us access to new areas down here i'd gathered enough chitin to be able to craft it so i went back to the top then i had an idea i'm pretty sure i can break this ladder down and i did this finally gave us access to see what's up here. I basically just found some basic resources. Had to parkour my way around a little bit. And then I found this. And this was rather interesting to me. I figured I'm just going to have to jump. And here we go. <clears throat> no. Yeah, there was no chance. In the end, I couldn't kind of figure out how to get up there. And kind of gave up on the idea. After all, I had an air cutter that I wanted to make. Also, I kept getting gastro from these breath nuts. So I figured maybe if I cook it, it will still give the same effect with the oxygen. But I, I won't get the gastro. That wasn't the case. When you cooked it, you just get this thing called overcooked meal. That doesn't give you any oxygen. Anyways, we now have a fancy new knife. And of course, I wanted to go find things to test this out on. These vines had nothing on me right now. Except they, they didn't lead to anything. So this was kind of rather uh, unexciting. This did though. Yeah, it led us to a room with, um, well, not many things. Oh, and remember those mantises? Well, they're still here. Except I just saw one kill another one. That's kind of crazy. Of course, that might mean we might have some access to some mantis glands. Not only was there mantis glands, if you cut these guys up, yeah, you get chitin from them. But not all of them had the mantis glands on them. Only just this one. That's okay, though. I spotted this weird material on the tree again. Started slicing it up, and then we got this pig smite seed. Not sure what it does now, but I'm sure it's interesting. With the extra oxygen and everything, we had so much loot, I had to run back to the lift and store some of it. Then we went back to adventure some more in this toxic wasteland. We somehow gained some more diseases, but we also gained access to a place that we wanted to get to earlier. Our vision's kind of blurry, but we did find another crashed airship, which then led us to be able to scan this contraption. This is a wrecked pipe water generator. What do you think it does i'm guessing it generates water with our inventory stacked we started heading on back to our airship day 48 and we need more space to be able to store all of these things that we keep gathering storage really hasn't been much of an issue until about now these storage shelves really make a massive difference by just making everything look way more neater also i wanted to check out some of these new building pieces that come in this brand new garden update these are bloom doors and these are just normal metal walls and i put these just at the back here to kind of just like section off my crafting area i won't lie it's rather satisfying how these doors open surprisingly building some of these additions to our base takes up a lot of resources thankfully the deck extractor was completely full but ultimately i was running really low on plastic scrap and i couldn't add anything else to the ship because the ship's load was too big but devised a plan by removing some pieces of our base and adding them in certain other areas so that i could place down a whole second balloon here which increases our ship load by quite a bit i plan on making it on both sides but currently i don't have enough materials to do that also you might be wondering why don't we just research the virus cure and fix everything again let me remind you i just want to explore and have some fun in this game there's so many features that you can do outside of the main missions that that's just all i want to do right now we'll get there trust me sooner than you might know as well side note don't go afk when you're flying this big airship you might crash into a building maybe that's what happened september that one year day 49 and yes we're almost at the finish line of this entire game but for now i'm gonna place down this upgraded tool charger yeah we made that one a little bit earlier but yeah i, I just placed it down again now then we went to go loot this greenhouse tower get ourselves a bunch of plant oil but mainly we wanted to come up to the roof area or to the actual greenhouse places so we can get some seeds and plants for our garden and cut a bunch of this grass because biomass 
is, is pretty useful for us, especially for fuel. I know I've done this a lot, but reminder, always fill up all your empty water bottles in this thing. It's unlimited water. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Especially because I'm planning on making a bunch of these plant pots for our garden. Like, we already have a bunch of plants fully grown. Like, we have a bunch of this patats, some dust devils, some green calanders. Like, I'm in vegan heaven right now. Alongside our freezer, we're never really going to run out of food. Also, I added one of these small sprinklers directly onto our large sprinkler it just fully connects straight away also upstairs here i placed down this large storage box because that's going to be our box that just for seeds woke up on day 50 crafted up this pipe water generator and i placed it outside now you need to connect this thing straight up to one of your water tanks and then it can just generate water automatically the thing is i discovered these pipes can't pass through walls so i tested to see if it might pass through a door the answer is no that doesn't work either off of a whim though i decided to place it inside and realized it worked i mean it was kind of bugged with the top thing because it's not supposed to look like that but but it, yeah, it's okay it's connected and uh, it's generating water for our tank so i'm happy it is day 50 of course so it's probably time that we make ourselves this virus cure i mean humanity has been waiting a very long time and i know i've been feeding my own vanity and curiosity by exploring and stuff humanity might actually want this virus cure i mean the strange lady in my head definitely does one thing i kind of didn't plan for is apparently i need a med station to be able to use this virus cure and I, I don't currently have a med station they take a lot to make i ended up making two fabricators so i could make all the required pieces for it after a bit of time i could make this medical station i decided to place it right here so that i could be sure it's got the best view in this entire ship i put myself in this mysterious pod and some craziness started happening all right here we go okay we're tripping there's drugs in here what is this okay some people oh my lord okay what now oh i'm controlling this okay Let's search here search there what's happening oh we got green making noises okay the virus is in my foot noted Good to know. Oh, not down there. Okay. Ooh. The virus was neutralized. That was it. That was it. Wow. I mean, yay, future technology. Thank you, strange voice. Yes, we will indeed save humanity. And just like that, we were notified that our journey is kind of over. This is where this game is at currently. It has been extremely fun. I don't think I really scratched the surface of all the possibilities. I mean, look at my ship. It's still kind of basic and bare boned. After we completed the game, I kind of messed around with some of the painting and stuff. And low key wish I did this a little bit earlier. This lava painting looks freaking sick. But the lava painting is also really, really rare and hard to get. You need this weird ass plant here to be able to make it. And that's that pig weird seed. But like you can fully customize this ship in so many different ways and different colors. I'm really curious to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching, guys. If you really did like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe button. It really, really helps me out. Until next time, peace.